welcome to our program. I'm Daytona Carter, and I'm sitting here with Dara Green, who is the author of the new book, Awakening the Talents Within. Dara Green was originally from Shreveport, Louisiana. He is now working for the Department of Energy as a program director, and also the co-owner of PMLI with his wife, Estralita Green. Dara, you and Estralita are nationally syndicated columnists and engineers. How can that be? So I want to thank you for giving me this opportunity. First, I believe that God has a cause for each one of us. And we are engineers by degree. And we were blessed to have the opportunity to write our first column, The Nostril Enlightenment. And I believe that God gives us all opportunities. And from that, uh, one of our friends contacted the National Newspapers Publication Association and we were able to be picked up. And that particular organization reaches about 12 million readers about 200 newspapers. So we've been blessed, we've been touched, and, and so we're trying to make a difference. Well, many people believe that you have to be privileged to, to have major success. You come from a poor inner city neighborhood in Shreveport, Louisiana. How are you able to overcome these circumstances? I believe, again, God touches each, each one of us. I, I believe that we all have a special calling in life. And when I was growing up, I was considered a slow learner. I was so slow that when I was in the sixth grade, I didn't know how to tie my shoes. But I never, I never gave up on myself. I had Christian parents who believed in us and cared for us. And so I was always, I had something inside of me that wanted to do better. And so that kind of keeps me going on because I realized that I have a destiny to keep. That's good. Tell me, who were your role models growing up? My role models were primarily my parents. My mother worked two jobs. My dad worked two or three different jobs. And they were always giving, they were always trying to be the best they could be, and they would instill that in, in, our, ch in our, our children. So we, that's, that's who are our, our role models right now. Were they the ones who inspired you to write this book, Awakening the Talents Within? <clears throat> Awakening the Talents Within is a book about destiny. And the reason why I wrote, I wrote Awakening the Talents Within is I was trying to make a difference. In our day-to-day -day life, we work with youth. And we also have opportunity to, to reach out and talk to other individuals. And I see so many people who have so many gifts and want to make a difference, but they don't realize that they have a talent within. And so awakening the talent within is, is for the next generation of leaders. I believe that each one of us has a contribution that we can make to society. And this is what I hope my book is about to do. I read your book and I thought it was very good. Thank you. You talk a lot about setting goals and making plans, and you mentioned a lot of motivational speakers inside your book. Tell me, how do you define success? I define success as making a difference and in influencing a lot of people. And I, a lot of times, talk to young people, and I also talk to adults. I talk about the past generation, and one of the questions that I ask those those children is. How could people with so little give so much while we with so much give so little? And so I feel obligated, based on the opportunities that we have today, working with the department and working with other organizations, that we have so many opportunities that I feel that we have to use our talents to help help society, that we need to pick up other, other individuals, that we're not self-made by ourselves, that God has given us something special to, to share with others. Oh, I see. Could you tell, tell our audience how could they be successful? I believe first you have to understand your calling in life and what God has for you. It starts from within. And from there, you have, to, you have to ask yourself, what do you really enjoy doing? You know, you might be an accountant, you might be a lawyer, you might be a teacher, but it's, you have to ask yourself, is that what God wants you really to do? And I think once you realize your mission, your calling in life, you can accept, well, maybe I'm a janitor, or maybe I'm a waiter, and you can accept those things while channeling your energies on the things that really matter the most. You talk about your purpose and God giving people their purpose in life. I run into a lot of people who feel like they're not doing what they need to do, or they feel like they hadn't tapped into their purpose. How does one determine what their purpose is in life? Well, one of the things that, ha that happened to me, I was kind of amazed. You know, I was, like I mentioned, I am an engineer, but one of the things that I did was one day, I, I really asked myself, I said, what do I really enjoy doing? I said, where, what do I do where I really feel like I'm making a difference? And it came to me the next, the next day. It was helping others. And I said, that, that, those are some of the questions you have to ask yourself. What do you really 
really enjoy doing. Yes, you might be an engineer, you might be a teacher, but what do you really want to do? And I think you have to start telling yourself, maybe work with some nonprofit organizations, maybe tutor, maybe do those things where you can channel those, those energies. You may not get paid, but there's a book called Do What You Love and the Wealth Will Follow, Money Will Follow. And I think it's very important that you first follow your love, and I, think, I believe that wealth will follow and money will follow afterwards. Well, how can others get their stories published? Well, most people believe that, that they can't get their book published. And I was blessed. It took me two months to write my book in less than a year to publish. Normally it takes between 18 months to three years to get published. And there are all kinds of resources. You can self-publish. You can find a, a local publisher. You can also contact a, a traditional publisher. There's a, a website called islibras.com that you can go to and pay nothing and, and get published. You can publish an ebook. So there's so many opportunities that people who have the heart and passion, so many of us have big dreams or we have a little heart. And I believe that you have to have a big heart to go along with your dreams. Wow. I think we're very impressed. Are there other projects that you're working on at this time? Well, one of the things that uh, Esther and myself are doing is uh, that we're trying to help other individuals by giving some coaching advice. And one of the things I always have to be careful with uh, my wife keeps me focused, she keeps me grounded, because it doesn't make sense to help all these families and hurt our families. So I try to stay in balance and don't, want, don't try to overcommit commit myself. One of the projects that we work on, we have a website called uh, familyvision.com where we reach a global community where we try to help people balance work and family, help people deal with single, single relationships, all those type of things that we're doing. But my dream is to one day to make movies. I have it on my mind, I want to, I want to do those things and, and try to reach out and, and get some positive messages out. And that's what I'm working on right now. I already got the script. I'm just looking for people who are, who are dedicated and, and I'm looking for a great director and we can, we can go and take it to the next level. Wow. <laughs> you got any acting abilities? <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, if you want to know how to get a copy of Esther Earl's book, Awakening the Talents Within, they're sold at Barnes & Noble, Barn, uh, Borders, Books A Million, and all the major bookstores here in America. You can also buy it on, online at Amazon.com. Now, I think we only have a few minutes left. Um, are there any words you want to leave our audience with before we? Okay. Well, one of the things I, I mentioned uh, to Tawana is that I see so many people who are not channeling their resources focusing on what they, God wants them to be. And the first thing I have to say is never, 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 never give up on your dreams. Hold on to those dearly. And always surround yourself with positive people. Because there's some people that are very negative. They don't want you to progress. They don't want you to be the best that you can be. And I have to tell you, you have to let those individuals go. They can still be your partners. You can still hang out. But when you have your dreams, you have to hold on to them. And if those people are distracting you from your dreams, you have to lay them aside. And there's a, another thing to remember is a vision. You have to have a vision. And the Bible says where there is no vision, the people perish. So you have to hold on to your vision while setting it, putting together a plan in order to reach, reach your goals. Wow. Well, you heard it from the best. Waking in the Talents Within, I recommend you to read this book, every one of you. If you have a plan, if you have a vision, you can be successful. Just read this book by Daryl Green, Awakening the Talents Within. Before we leave, I would like to give special thanks to the people here at Pine Avenue Baptist Church for allowing us to use their facilities. And until next time, I would like to say, be encouraged and stay focused. Thank you.